Synchronize our watches. All set. Okay, we're setting our watches because a bear and her cubs pass by Animal Junction every day at lunchtime. And we don't want to miss them. To be safe, I'll set the egg timer. Okay, the crack clock is ticking along nicely. And for backup, the hourglass. Okay, so now there's no way that we're gonna miss the bear and her cubs passing by. No way, no how. You excited to see him? Great. You know who else wants to see him? Sabu! Hey, Let's call Sabu Mafu! Sabu! Hey, 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 Sabu! <laughs> How you doing, buddy? So, what kind of animals did you see out there today? Wow! He's climbing high. Sabu Mafu! That leaping lemur. Leap like a lemur. You can do it! Snack time. Hey, Sabu! You want some grapes? No, wait. Not that many. Save some for us. Here you go, Chris. Thanks. Wow, these are great. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Whoa! Sabu Mafu! Wow, Zob, you sure gulped those grapes. Well, I was hungry, but now I'm hooky. All right, well, here's the plan. Mm -hmm. We set our watches because the bear and her cubs are passing by at lunchtime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I want to set my watch, too, but... What's a watch? <laughs> this is a watch, Zob. We use it to tell uh, time. But, uh, if I don't have a watch, how will I know when the bears are coming? We have the crack clock, the egg timer, the cuckoo clock, don't forget the hourglass. Yeah, nothing's gonna keep us from seeing the bear family. Everybody's excited. <laughs> oh, that makes me think of the Mungatsika animals I saw today. Who could they be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? You couldn't miss it. He had four legs, too. And those legs, they were great for climbing. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Mongatsuka. Mongatsuka animal. That nose just kept sniffing. And then there was another one. <laughs> Tailed climbers. You know who they are? Wiggly, Wiggly noses. noses. Long claws and long snout. Mm -hmm. A tail that sticks high up in the air. Do you know who the mystery animals are? <laughs> A bunch of kawadis. Yeah! Manga kawadi! Mystery animals here! Wow, what a nose. You know what I love about kawadis? Watch their noses really closely because their noses move around at the end of their snout. One, two, 
three, four, five kawadis. Five kawadis in Animal Junction. I can't believe my mind. Kawadis have everything a climber needs. I know, I climb too. Kawadis are great climbers. I want to climb too. <laughs> Here goes. <laughs> kawadis can climb ladders upside down. Come on up, guys. It's a great view. Should we head down? Woo! -hoo. There goes that apple. But the kawadi is after it. Nothing gets away from a kawadi. Whoa, those sharp claws dig right into the blanket and keep the kawadi from slipping. And it's not just their claws that help them climb. Their tails help them keep their balance so they don't fall. Whoa! <laughs> Watch out! His watch fell in the snug machine. We didn't see it. But we humans don't have tails, so we're not as good at keeping our balance. My brother needs a little practice climbing like a kawadi. There are all kinds of climbing creatures, and each one has a different thing that helps them climb. Porcupines get help from their tails. Orangutans use their long arms and hands. And geckos use their sticky feet pads. So many great climbers and so many great kawadis. And kawadis get into everything <laughs> in between climbing. Hey, you know what? This is making me feel kawadi-ish. Do you feel kawadi-ish? All right. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel kawadi-ish. How about you? Kawadi-ish. I feel kawadi-ish. Kawadi-ish. I'm a nosy little climber. I'm a kawadi. Kawadi-ish. Nothing could be finer than swinging on a viner. <laughs> Woo Whoa! 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 Uh oh. I can't believe it. What's the matter, Martin? My watch is broken. Mm. I think that crat fall was one too many for mm. my favorite old watch. Yeah, well, we still have mine to let us know when the bears are gonna get here. Um, I don't think so, Chris. I think your arm has lost your watch. What? When did that happen? Mm. Maybe when you went climbing, remember? Whoa! <laughs> it's got to be around here somewhere. Good luck, Chris. I hope he finds his watch. No watch, but I see a tire tread eel, a snail, and a newt. I want to see two. Zika. Zika. There's the paddle tail newt. Oh, yeah. And the tire track eel is over there. Mm -hmm. And there's the gold Inca snail. I can't believe my mind. I never knew so many creatures lived underwater. Yeah. No watch in here. Hey, Martin, you gotta help us find my watch. I'll be right there. But right now, I'm climbing with the Kawadis. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, I was climbing. That makes me think of one time in Zabu land. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. And then I heard a funny noise. It sounded to me like Narchi. Sure enough, it was Narchi. Climbing up the hill, pushing a zoot fruit. But then he sneezed and slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. He tried again. Climbing up the hill with his zoot fruit, but he sneezed again. And he slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. Then Narchi said, I just can't get my zoot fruit to the top of the hill. So I said to him, hey, Narchi, why don't you climb a different way? Well, I only know one way to climb. Well, here's another. Huh? Your nose can help you climb. 
turn around and climb up the hill with your sneezes. You can do it. Thanks, Arm. That's it. Go ahead. Good. Oh, good for you. I did it. I climbed so the hill. So he and Archie sat on top of the hill and nibbled on his zoot fruit all day. The end. It was yummy. That Kawadi's still climbing. Hey, Kawadi. Which one was he? There are so many Kawadis. I've got an idea. I'm going to give you all names. Let's see. I'll call you Climber. And you climb me and uh, climb it. And uh, let's see. Oh, you can be Climber Addo. And hey, where's the fifth Kawadi? There he is. I think I'll call him Stinky. Why Stinky? Oh, because I like that name. It's hard for us to tell Kawadis apart, but Kawadis don't have any trouble recognizing each other. That's because each Kawadi has his or her own smell, and that's how they know who's who. Hey, everybody, it's snack time. Oh, <laughs> there goes the hourglass. Uh-oh. Huh. Sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh, the cuckoo clock's broken. Oh, no! Somebody catch that ball! It might break the last clock. I got it, it's mine! Oops! Oh, I slipped! <laughs> oh, no! Now the crack clock is broken, too! All the clocks are broken! Now I really need to find my watch. Kawadis are great diggers and sniffers. They can smell food hidden underground, then dig it up. And Kawadis love to dig up turtle eggs. Here's a boop. That's me. Wish you were here? Here? Here! Wish you were here, Martin and Chris. Hey, Martin, Chris, here's that postcard you sent me from the big mountain. What a mountain. Yeah. yeah. That was some climb. Mm. But hey, where'd you get the postcard? The Quaddies dug it up. They're great diggers. Right, Climber? Oh, I better make sure they're all still here. Uh, let's see. Climber's up there, and uh, Climby is over there. Hey, or is that Climate? Oh, uh, and over there is Climerado. And there is Stinky. It's hard keeping track of Quaddies. And hard keeping track of time without a clock or a watch. Yeah, my watch is busted, the crack clock's busted, but the egg timer. It's broken too! With all the clocks broken or lost, how are we ever gonna know when the mom bear and cubs come by? Unless. I feel an idea coming on. Unless, Give up your idea, Chris. Unless we put together the sundial. Sundials have been used for thousands of years to tell time. All right! Okay, let's build a sundial. What does it say? What does it say? Okay, the time is... Uh -huh. Oh no, the sun's gone behind the clouds. You need the sun to tell time with a sundial. Well, what are we gonna do? If we don't know what time it is, how will we know when to look for the bears? We'll just have to wait till the sun comes out. stomach. It's better than a watch. Hmm. Because when my stomach grumbles, it's lunchtime. Huh. And time for the mom bear and babies. Yeah. There they are. Yeah, all right. <laughs> a grizzly bear, mom, and her cubs. It looks like it's lunchtime for the grizzly bears, too. Yeah, did you know that a grizzly bear eats grass? Wow. Well, grass is yummy. And you know what time it is now? What time's up? Playtime for grizzly bears. <laughs> what a great creature family. <laughs> yeah, and we did it. We got to see the mother bear and her cubs.
<laughs> That's not a bear growling. That's my stomach. It's still lunchtime. Am I hungry? Me hmm? too. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Even Stinky's hungry. And I need some spaghetti. Chris, your watch. All right. You must have flown off my wrist and fallen into the snack machine. You almost got spaghetti and watch instead of spaghetti and meatball. <laughs> oh, hey, the Kawadis are leaving. Bye, Climate. Bye, Climerado. Bye, Climber. Bye, Climby. And goodbye, Stinky. Bye, bye, bye everybody. Daddy. Incoming. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a... Duck! <laughs> it's Sticky Feet. The Peregrine Falcon. Hey, is Sticky Feet a good climber like the Kawadi? Sticky Feet doesn't need to climb. She can fly. Oh. Hey, hmm? a message from Jackie. Oh. There's a kitten stuck up this tree. The poor little guy knew how to climb up, but he's too little and afraid to climb back down again. So we have to help him. It's okay. Don't be scared. I'm just trying to help you. There you go. You're safe now. Okay, lower the basket. When the kitten grows up, He'll be able to climb much better than I can. But for now, he still needs our help. Some animals can climb way higher trees and not get scared. Come on, let's go inside and get us some milk. Oh, cats are pretty good climbers. And so is Jackie. And there are lots of climbing creatures out in the wilds, <gasps> huh? A great place huh? to find climbing creatures is in the mountains. <gasps> you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. I think you think I'm thinking what you think I think you're <laughs> All thinking. All right, already. I think we all know what you're thinking. Chris and Martin are going on a trip. Yeah. To the mountain. To the mountains. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Oh, no. Avalanche. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sweatshirts. Pants, climbing shoes, helmet, They're water bottles, cool and a filter. Hey, let's know go! What's in store. <laughs> They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zop. Bye, buddy. Bye, Crack Brothers. Here's the mountain, and there's the top. You, Chris, and I are gonna climb that mountain all the way to the top. And when we get there, we're gonna meet one of the highest climbers in the world. I wonder who it'll be. Careful as you go, Chris. Climbing a cliff isn't exactly like climbing into bed. We should be seeing some climbing creatures any time now. You're right, Chris. Keep your eyes open. We're getting closer. A pika! You know you're up pretty high when you see a pika. They live high in the mountains. A pika fills his cheeks with grass and carries it back to his home. A pika doesn't slip off the rocks because he has grippy little toes. Wouldn't it be cool to have feet like a pika's? You wouldn't need sneakers. Ooh, Martin has stinky feet. Hey, Martin, put your shoes back on. Okay, Chris. Let's keep climbing. I can hardly wait to find out who's at the top. Whoever she is, she's got to be a great climber. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see her. Time for a break. A little rest, a little water, and a little snack. You know, Martin, I was thinking, Cougars are great climbers. Maybe we'll see one. You're right, Chris. But we might not hear them, because cougars are silent climbers. Yeah, that's why they called them the Ghosts of the Rockies. Ready, Martin? Ready, Chris. Let's go. OK, the final ascent. We're almost to the top, bro. Top! Look, 
the climbers at the top of the mountain, the bighorn sheep. Look at them go. They must be the best tag players in the world. I bet you could never catch them. Why don't we try it? You be a bighorn sheep, and I'll be a bighorn sheep, and you try to catch me. Great idea! Only one thing, you try to catch me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, get this. Remember, it's all in the feet. And bighorn sheep have special hooves that give them a great grip on slippery rocks, even when they're butting heads. That's right. In the winter, male bighorn sheep have incredible headbutting contests. That's got to give you a headache. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt as much as it looks because a bighorn sheep has an extra layer of bone in his head. Kind of like our climbing helmets. Exactly! Hey, you think of what I'm thinking? Yep. Oh. Oh. You should never butt heads unless you're a real bighorn sheep. I think I like pillow fights better. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> At least pillow fights are a little softer. <laughs> We're at the top of the world, and we've met some of the animals that live in the highest places. Mission accomplished. Time to head back down. Let's go. Hey, too bad we never saw a cougar. Well, maybe next time. Wait till Zabu hears about our climb. One pin, then another pin. Oh, you're a good climber now. Yeah. What's Zabu doing now? now? Yeah. One pin, another pin. Good. Hey, Zab. Hi, guys. Little Leaper and I are good teachers. We taught this mongozy creature how to climb. Oh, you don't have to teach him how to climb, Zabu. He already knows how to climb. That's a mud skipper. And the amazing thing about mud skippers is that they're a type of fish that can climb. A climbing fish. Well, if he's a mud skipper, why doesn't he stay in the mud? Well, sometimes mud skippers come out onto land to eat or just to climb around. Hey, there goes Little Leaper. <laughs> little Leaper's a great climber. Show him your stuff, Little Leaper. He's almost as good as me. Little Leaper and I can't believe our minds. A climbing fish that doesn't live underwater. That's the amazing thing about mud skippers. They can live in the water or out of the water. A mud skipper has special breathing skin in the back of his throat so he can breathe air. And a mud skipper also has gills for breathing underwater. He can breathe two ways. The underwater way and the not underwater way. Fish that climbs trees and breathes out of water. Hey, guys, that reminds me of some climbers from Zabu land. Wah! I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap, leap. And then I stopped because I wanted to climb to the top of Mount Zabumafu. <laughs> and then Wiggy flew by. Well, let's climb then. Oh, 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 I want to climb too. Well, then let's all climb. Oh, but I might need some help. Oh, help! Oh, help! So my friends followed me as we climbed up the big mountain. Even though it was a long way to the top, I like climbing. We kept climbing and climbing and climbing. And then we heard a friendly voice at the top. Oh, you made it. Oh, you're good climbers. Yeah, you're good climbers. Oh. Yeah. It was Snow Lemur, and we all jumped around on the top of Mount Zabubu and had a lot of fun. <laughs> the end. Today was a real Mungazika day. I can't believe my mind. What was your favorite part, Zaba? Oh, I like climbing with Mud Skipper and Little Leaper. Yeah, and I love when the Kuatis were climbing all over the mm -hmm. place. I'm glad we got to see the mother bear and the cubs. Thanks to Martin's stomach. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names
but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine, they jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today! I'm making like a mud skipper and climbing out up a tree. See you later. Bye, Zob. Happy climbing. Hey, how about this? Let's go caving. Yes, caving is climbing underground. All set, Martin? Oh, yeah. And we'll see you later. My name is Skip, and this is my pet Zaza, and I love her.